Hello, hello, it is Dr. Chris Arkell and I am back again with another video. If you have any video topics that you'd like me to discuss or any issues pertaining to your life and you'd like to see me do it in a video or give you advice in a video, please go to askcrystalraquel at gmail.com. I'm also going to my description box as well as my main page and you'll see herrosegarden.com for any coaching sessions that you might like to attend. This video today is going to be about a specific topic and also of course like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Um, that helps me decide what type of contact and continue to make. So anyway, this topic of today's video is something I really would urge ladies to really think about. It could be teens, it could be older teens, young adults, or others who are in the 30s range or even 40s range. I'm sure a lot of us ladies who are 30s and up, this is something that we wish we knew when we were younger um, and that some people had to learn on their own. So I wanted to just discuss the issue of uh, ladies being single moms. Um, of course, there are cases where it's outside of a young lady's control. Um, you know, someone could have been violated, something like that. But for people who have a choice in the matter, or let's say you're not currently a single mom, I really would urge you to think far ahead into your future. The reason why this came up is because I see ladies... And actually, no, it's not even just single moms. It's just maybe having children too early. And once again, this is not for people who, or any ladies who, who it happened outside of their control. But just really think about what you want your future to be like. Um, of course, let's say you're, you ended up getting really, getting married really young and you ended up having children. Okay, that's fine. You know, when you have, when you get married, it makes sense to start having kids. But I'm not going to talk about that. My thing is, if you're a single person, I would urge you focus on your education, focus on your future. You don't want to end up in a situation where you are 40 years old and mind you, I'm in my mid thirties, but I'm, I'm approaching 40, right? You don't want to end up in a situation where you're 40, you have young children and I've seen this, I, I'm seeing this right now and you want to try to go back for your bachelor's degree, you realize that you have four children five children and you were never able to finish your schooling because you started having children so young and of course no one is ever going to say they regret having their children but as women we need to be able to look back and say hey you know if i could do things differently i wouldn't have had them so young and of course you're going to see ladies who are going to say no i would have still had them i don't want to be an old mom of course what else can you say you you can't say you regret your your children I think people need to, be, need to start being more honest because ideally, you know, you're, if it's your choice, you should not be having a child at 15 years old, 16, 17, even 18, 19. Like I said, I recommend you go to school. There's time, right? We have, I would say there's time to have children. We have time for that. And you don't want to just leave high school let's say you had a goal you had a dream let's say since you were little you said you want to be a doctor you want to be a lawyer you wanted to be um in it you want to be an engineer you wanted to be a business manager whatever it is and whatever it is that you wanted to be a lot of times it has to do with school so if that's the case when you are 17 year junior year of high school you need to go forward, try to think of a path to go to school. And I know a lot of people, I hear this a lot from black people. Um, they'll say, oh, well, you know, I don't have the money for it. I'm not gonna go to school, I'm not gonna take out loans. All right, but let's say you start in a community college. That's inexpensive. You could work and go to school at the same time and then you could do your last two years. If you get really good grades, you could even potentially get a scholarship um, in terms of getting good grades at your community college or do really well from kindergarten through high school then you can potentially get a full ride scholarship. So I think we have to think about those things and not just say, oh, I don't have the money. Um, and I would even say if you can go to community college and if you can go to an inexpensive state school, you have to take out a little loan here and there, that is not that is not a huge deal. Do you want to end up in a situation to where you're um 
you have the opportunity to go to school maybe you took out a small loan to finish and then you end up let's say you went to nursing you got you're an rn now and now you're making i don't know let's just say eighty thousand dollars a year and then you you work for maybe a couple of years two three years and you can pay off your debt especially if you take out a small loan versus someone let's say you're um what's that what's that position called support care it's a it's a career a lot of people do in um like home health not home health aid but something support worker a lot of people do that when you don't have a uh, nursing or you don't have a nursing aid certificate or that sort of thing if you want to just do something like that it doesn't require school you're making maybe even maybe like 25 percent of what a nurse makes or less and you just do that for like 10 years in that time that you're working that that job that didn't require your schooling let's just say it's the nursing science field you would have paid off the loans and then so just just think about those things rather than you struggling and that kind of thing so i'm talking about school but also children factor in children it makes it even more difficult so I, i'm here to say people who haven't had children and you're young you're in your teens you're in your early 20s go ahead and go to school if you can um you know school teaches you a lot of things it's one i highly recommend you do something that's going to give you a career um you know like whether it's going to your four years and going to law school or doing it you know your bachelor's or uh, doing your bachelor's in nursing i highly recommend you do something like that but um yeah, go for it. Get your education. You have a lot to offer to this world. You don't want to end up in a situation where people aren't going to look at you because you haven't had your bachelor's. And based on what I see and what studies are showing is that, well, statistics show clearly that you having a college degree puts you... Um, in a higher socioeconomic status, you're more likely to get better paying jobs for your future. And also, if you have a higher education degree, like a bachelor's degree, you're, it's more likely that you're going to, um, that your children are going to pursue those things. And of course, this is not to say there's anything wrong with not having those things. I'm talking to the young people who can make a choice that's going to affect their future i'm not talking about anybody who may be in a situation right now where they're they they're a single mom or they're divorced and they have a children and they weren't able to pursue their goals once again i'm talking about this, this, if this was your goal to do i'm talking about people who are young and they need advice for what's the best um outcome a lot of times when we're young we think to ourselves oh everything's fine you know i can just live how i want do what i want and then you may have end up in a situation where you're 40 and you're thinking to yourself oh man i wish i would have done this i wish i would have done that i wish i would have gone and finished my nursing school i wish i wouldn't have let that man deter me from finishing my my nursing degree um i was so in love and you know and then i stopped and then i just kept working or i was so in love and then i ended up getting pregnant i was so in love and then i ended up get pre getting pregnant again and i never finished my school now i have three babies to feed i'm trying to go back to school because that's going to be the best um that's going to give them the best opportunity to have a good life i have to finish school i have to make more money i have to take care of my children i don't want to um depend on anyone but myself so think about those things when we're young we think about ourselves we think about what we want we think about oh we have all the time in the world and when you get to a certain age you realize no we don't have all the time in the world we have to figure out what it is we want to do pursue those things to be able to one support our families support ourselves and fulfill our purpose on earth so i'm here to tell you if you have a goal you have a vision go ahead and pursue it if you're in that stage where you're in a high school age or middle school age and you want to go ahead and pursue your uh there's something that you want to do go ahead and pursue it make sure you do well in school so you can achieve your dreams you can go to school finish school and there may be someone around you who's telling you oh you know oh you're you don't do that well in school you're you're not really bound for college don't listen to those things god has set your path before you study hard do your work and you'll be able to go to school um if you still have time get get straight a's if you can study um ask for help in school 
if you're at the point where like in your junior year, sophomore year, um, well, I'll say junior year or senior year and you already have the degrees that you have, all right, go ahead to a community college, get a job to work and support yourself. If you're scared to have loans, that's okay. If you're young, you can work hard, meaning get a job and do uh, a community college. Make sure you do well though in school and then you can go ahead and go off to finish your other two years that's what you want or if you need to if you want to not go to get a fourth four year let's say you had a dream you want to be um do some sort of trade like plumbing um go ahead and do your certificate do well in that and then pursue your dreams well plumbing obviously <laughs> women don't really go into plumbing but yeah this can go for young boys as well just do well in school it, that's another thing i know i'm speaking about women but even young boys I'm seeing a lot in the black community that a lot of young men, uh, I was just reading stats and it shows that black men are the least likely to pursue higher education. And that's really sad to me because I believe black women among women are the highest educated. They're the most likely to most likely um, group of women to be educated. So factor in the most or the most enrolled or higher educated highest educated women black women factor in the least educated men black men that that's not gonna that's that may not work just in comparison to other other groups of people like white men and white women they're closer um short asian men and asian women they're closer so Keep that in or the man might be more educated educated although i think overall women are um, more educated go to college more than men of course you know men are different sometimes men want to pursue an entrepreneur type thing and they may do really well in that um but my whole thing is go ahead and pursue your education for men you're going to be supporting a family one day so make sure you have a skill even if it's not a bachelor's degree go and get a skill trade something so then that way you can support your family like you're supposed to and be that provider for your family and then young ladies just be careful do not let anyone derail you from your future and i'm talking about do not go around getting pregnant um make sure you go and focus on your education i mentioned in another video before 25 focus on educating yourself focus on fulfilling your um, purpose focus on finding out who you are focus on your identity in christ don't focus so much on relationships because that's going to come um i did recommend before that focus on marriage between mid 20s like about 25 of course like 24 is probably okay too up to late 20s but you don't want to get derailed uh, your children are a blessing, of course. However, you don't want to get into a situation where you're, you know, you're unmarried. You, once again, there's people who could control it, right? You're unmarried. You're having children out of wedlock. And now you're, you're having most of the burden of the kids. Not saying your children are a burden, but you have to care for them. They're with you um, full time. Um, or a majority of the time and potentially somebody has left you um, and then now you're by yourself. <sighs> Not saying that the outcome for marriage in a family is wonderful, but it is better than having children without being married so focus on yourself do not let someone say that they love you convince you not to pursue your dream um whether it's you know your trade your you want to go to beauty school get your bachelor's get your master's there's been many times where ladies because we love someone and we are want to get married we don't go ahead and pursue our our dreams um and that reminds me of something my mom had just told me she said that one of her brothers my uncle mentioned to her um when i was graduating with my my program recently he told her oh yeah you would have been doing that now but you stopped so i think probably when she well this this was in a marriage obviously but you know when she got married she uh, i think stopped the program that she was in which it happened so not even for single people but i would recommend finish everything you have to finish before getting married if you can um before having children i know back then too um it probably was a little bit more difficult to fit to to do your do programs and stuff but you know 
now when you have children in the family, you may move from where your program is if you have a brick and mortar program. Um, so yeah, just be mindful of that. Focus on yourself, focus on your career, focus on who you are. Don't focus so much on love and marriage because I would say in my 20s, I spent a lot of time thinking to myself, oh, what am I gonna get married? What am I gonna get married? Granted, I didn't have the person I was marrying, so I, I continued my education thank god i thank god of course some people stay stagnant oh i want to get married um so i'm just gonna work this job and that sort of thing um so you just want to make sure that you're pursuing your dreams don't let anyone derail you from your passions um don't focus so much on oh you know i want to have kids there's people who, who will say that oh you know i'm just gonna have kids without being married because i need to hurry hurry up and get them out the way there was someone that i knew he he had, I don't know how many, how many children he had. I don't know. But his oldest child at the time, she was 18 or 19. I remember him saying, oh, yeah, she's pregnant. I'm going to be a grandfather. I'm so happy. I think it's so wonderful. She's pregnant now, 18, 19. Um, you know, it's great to get them out the way. And I, I remember at the time I just thought to myself, what how was that a good thing she you know i think she had just recently finished high school i thought it as what i saw it as a very bad thing she you know was in a relationship i thought to myself okay what's her goal she's not going to pursue anything she's just going to have children and then just try to find a job so you know some people think differently and mind you this was a man so i think as ladies we have to look out for each other because you want to do well in life. You want to have a, a good family, a strong family. And you don't want a lot of, you don't want drama in your life. And like I said, I've seen people who they had their children young and they're, you know, they're unmarried or, you know, just was a relationship that didn't work out. And then now they are struggling when they're older, not saying 35, 40, 45 is older, but you're a, a, an adult, right? You're a, not middle age, but you're what we consider adult, right? Like 35, 45, you're an adult. Um, obviously, you're an adult from when you're 18, but I think you get my point. But you don't want to end up in that situation where you're like, oh man, I, I should have done this, I should have done that. I have this family now, I have these kids to feed, and you are struggling and of course you might even be struggling you might even be married in that case and so you want to pursue your education you want to be able to bring more income into your household but you started having children so young so you weren't able to pursue your dreams or pursue your program or pursue even creating a business that sort of thing you just ended up stuck in certain types of jobs i just think it's very important for us to think ahead and that's why i'm here i'm here to tell you young ladies um don't focus so much on getting married yes you will be married focus on yourself and in that process as you're working on yourself you're going to um you're going to want to have a good education or have your career or have what it is you want to do or even educate your mind in the time in that time and be able to help other people one day um and then in that time you're going to meet your husband as well so focus on that don't focus so much on oh i need to get married or oh i need to start having children i don't care with who or <laughs> i'm in this relationship and i like him i love him he hasn't proposed to me he, he hasn't walked me down the aisle but he's asking me for a child i'm gonna go ahead because i want to have children who knows when i'm when i'm going to have children in the future or maybe by having a child with him he's going to end up marrying me and you know just i'm here to say don't give up your youth and your talents your future for a man god has a man for you and it makes things a lot difficult more difficult if you end up putting yourself in a situation where you now have children and, and those sorts of things and of course children are a blessing this is for the young ladies not for someone who you know maybe you have children and you know it's difficult and all those things and it's hard for you this is more so trying to protect younger ladies trying to help them direct them on the right path um because you may think you have all the you think you have time to pursue your goals and that you don't have time to have children and to have a relationship but that's not true Focus on yourself, building yourself, and things are going to fall into place. I may have mentioned this on another video before, but once I really focus on myself um, physically, mentally, spiritually, um, I had already, I think, 
I had already pursued my education. Once I focus on everything I need to focus on, once I focus on God, my relationship with him, being happy with him, happy single, is when I was able to attract three men who were interested in marriage with me within a very short amount of time. And of course, that was God's grace and me praying and him, God opened that door for me. When the time is right, it'll come. Um, I mentioned before that I met my husband, went on a date. We were married within a year. Um, I was pregnant a few months later, and now I have a baby. So, you know, God can accelerate things forward. You don't have to try to accelerate things. Focus on yourself. Focus on who he made you to be. You're smart. You have talents. There's things you can do in this world. And let's say you don't want to pursue any higher education. That is completely fine. Um, focus on something. You can find a ministry in your church. Um, you can help other people pick, pick a specific population that you can serve in your ministry. I mean, in ministry, in church. And that's also fine. Work for God's kingdom in whatever way you can. So yeah, just very important. Um, I hope this all made sense to you all. Basically, be careful. Focus on your education while you're young or your business, that sort of thing. Focus on yourself, building your life, building a career for yourself because you don't want to end up in a situation where you um, are, it's later in life and you haven't pursued, pursued your goals um, because you are focused on other things. And of course, um, people might even get married young and then it doesn't work out. So of course those things happen, but this is more so to um, help young women. And of course, young men, as I mentioned, I mentioned young men, pursue your education if you can, because you're going to be protecting and providing for a family. But this video is more so just to tell you young ladies, um, don't get in those situations. Don't force relationships. God has a perfect relationship for you. And of course, this, you have free will as well. But focus on yourself because once those years are gone that you could have used to pursue your um, education and a career, they are gone. Um, but I wish you a beautiful day. Um, let me know if you have any questions or concerns or if you need any help with any issue in your life surrounding relationships, uh, mental health, health, um, wellness, and anything else. Okay, bye. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.